So I've made a ton of videos about my solar power system and I've been telling people I had 12 batteries and I've been unintentionally lying because um, I've added them as I go along and uh, I never realized but I only have 10. So my power system works fine off 10 deep cycle marine batteries. I know that's ugly and I'm sorry but everything's fused and um, everything's connected. And it's been like this for, uh, I think, two and a half, three years. And these batteries have held up really well. Um, I run a 12-volt system, so everything's just ran in 12-volt. Um, I just finished my uh, hot water heat heater hookup. I had been running it off of a single 100-watt panel, and... Uh, it wasn't efficient enough. It, the water would get slightly warm and that's it. So I bought some heavy gauge, uh, 10 gauge wire and wired it directly to my battery bank and added a uh, small, stop digging. Hey, Carl, Carl, stop digging. Carl Marx, badass. So I ended up buying just a inexpensive Amazon charge controller to hook up to my panel and um, just threw that in today. I usually do cleaner, more <laughs> more effective stuff, but I just wanted to get it thrown in. So it's in, it's running. My panel is, you can see the blinking arrow, it's charging. Um, when I turn the hot water heater element off, It'll jump up to about 13.4 volts, so I know it's pulling quite a bit of current. But so far, it ain't blowing no fuse, and uh, the wires are nice and cool, so nothing's getting hot. And that's a good thing. But this is the um, DC 12-volt uh, hot water heater element that I purchased. So, um, I might come in and clean up these wires. I was kind of just test testing today make sure everything would function the way it should uh my cabin's a mess me and my kids have been coming out here and staying out here quite a bit lately this is my standard setup that i've been running all this time for my solar power i got a 6000 watt um power inverter and then i like the uh, Renology um, charge controllers. I got a Adventure. There's an ant. And then the Rover. The Rover's a really good MPPT charge controller. And the reason why I got multiple charge controllers is I got multiple panels and I've built this system over time. And that I maxed out as far as amperage. So when I added more panels, I added that, and then I added another 100 watt of panel. So um, I added that smaller charge controller underneath about a hot water heater. So um, this ain't the prettiest wiring either, but it's at least cleaner than everything else. I know what it is. That's the good thing. But everything pulls through. I can run this off of my generator just by switching out this little bus bar i can switch it over to here and this is for my generator and that's for my solar so. <laughs> anyway yeah came out today to fool around like i said been coming out here a lot lately with my kids and I need to mow the grass and clean up a little bit. So, mowed the grass, cleaned up. I had to fix the rack over there on that one solar panel. The wood on the bottom rotten a little, so I had to move the screw position. Captain Bob, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs>